Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Great Britain episode number 33. <clears throat> 33, man, that's just about the time when I end some of my series in <laughs> 1920 still. Uh, but I'm not using that as a threat or anything. We're going to continue this one because, I don't know, the Great Britain is very interesting. Uh, just at least going to play it out to 1925, and I think I'm just going to kind of follow the same timeline as I normally do. We'll play at least one big war after 1925. Uh, and then when that big war, I mean, I'm still following the timeline in my head where Germany's next and then Great uh, America's two wars away. So we're getting down to the budget crunch point, budget crunch point, um, which is actually not even a result of building any new ships, which is kind of bad. Um, in fact, we're, we're basically finishing ships and we're still at this huge negative I don't even know if it'll go that much more positive once we get the Grenvilles done. The Kingfisher, ki yeah, Kingfisher refit is not that expensive, just in a tough way in terms of budget. So, but we'll just see what happens as we keep going. Um, go for the win. We need to put somebody on. Oh, good quality one, two inch guns. I've never in my life, in this game, I should say, <laughs> but in my life in this game built a ship with a two inch gun although yeah i mean my minesweeper is just about as cheap as it can get already why are some of them 7500 and some of them are not it's just based on how long they've been around for but they're all 1918 rebuilds still it does appear that the maintenance cost does go up after hmm. 15 years? 10 years? No, 15 years or so. Okay. But probably it still doesn't in the lifespan of paying extra maintenance uh, come close to buying a new ship and scrapping the old one, so anyway. Ah, yes, that's what we had to do. We had to actually put somebody on hold. Well, Jolly Roger, halt your construction temporarily. You're the furthest from being completed, so you're the, the first to be chopped. And these are not going to help. Um, France. Well, we could use the budget. And that's not so bad. Again, I'm still thinking of manually editing the tensions with Germany. By maybe 1922, that should give us enough time to go to war and then get back to war with the United States around 1927 or so. Uh, that's the timeline I am forecasting in my head. If the game plays out one way or another... Differently than that, I I will be subject to its whims. But I just, uh, that's just how I, I really want, that's what I want to do. Like, I want to go to war with Germany more than I want to abide by the rules of the game. <laughs> so. Nothing really happening this turn. We're not able to take that one off yet. Just two more months, maybe, and then we can. No. Nope. That's a good ship. I mean, Germany is definitely building some good ships. So, it's going to be a tough war if we go to war with them. Gradual AP improvement, that's always good. How's our research doing? I haven't really paid attention to this lately. Uh, if we get damage control, uh, torpedo protection four, I think we'll probably move this back down to medium. I don't know. Uh, okay, so we have not done improved quadruple turrets, but I don't really care because I don't know if we'll be using them. Actually, we may. The Germans, I mean, the British used everything. I was thinking most of the British ships I, I tend to think of are dual turreted, but that's it's not certainly not exclusive. Uh, I mean the. Royal Navy is not exclusively dual turreted ships. You can think of like the the King George V, I think. Uh, lots of their uh, the the Queen Elizabeth was that also the same class as the King George V. I don't know, but uh, used four quadruple turreted. But that, that's World War II. But these were built before World War II, obviously. So ship design medium, that's fine. AP. This is probably yeah. We're only at tier nine. That's not so far ahead. Yeah, I think we actually have a pretty good fix on things. Let's put this back up to high. The quality guns are just super important, so. Okay, Royal Oak. Royal Oak. Um, tension is fine. 
reduce dead rate. And we can get this one resumed. Accelerate actually does knock off a month. Three times six is 18, huh? It looks like it's cheaper. We'll do it. Wait, savings is good when we finally get our main class out. Okay, the destroyers are being done, are completing. The Grenville class completing, fantastic. I don't think we're gonna get a new light cruiser class. Oh man, that's a, that's a, that's a pretty beastly Russian dreadnought. Cesarevich class, 37,000 tons, 24 knots. My God, is it fast. Let's play the same game. Let's do the same thing. Let me print screen real fast. Get uh, paint open. Lock this so I can see it on the other screen. Done. Let's play the game of can we duplicate this ship for 37,000 tons. Let's take a look at what they have going on for them. So they have a 37,000 ton ship. It was actually 36.7 at 24 knots. Let's make this a B. Um, let's pretend all this is normal. They have 13 inches of armor, 3 inch deck, 15 and a half inch turrets, uh, 16 inch conning tower. This is just a beastly ship. I'm not sure what the turret top is, so I'll leave this. They have 6 inch batteries. Uh, let's pretend it's Torpedo Protection Defense 3. They have 14 inch guns and they have it in a 3-2-2-3 configuration. So delete this one and increase these. Uh, they only have director firing and they have 25 inch guns. So let's see if this, we're at 519, let's go down, 25 inch guns. Okay. So this is what that Cessera ship class looks like if we were to build it. it has two submerged, yeah. Okay, good. Very interesting. It's not a bad ship. It's like from this, if you gave me this, I would then obviously first things first, increase this to 16. Knock this down to two. Yeah, these, I mean, guns are very, <laughs> guns are very expensive in terms of sp space and probably therefore also in terms of cost, but uh, this engine is insane though. This is, I mean, look at this. This is only a 300 savings to go down like this. It's only 150 savings to go from 23 to 22. But look at that drop down to 19, saves 800 tons. There's definitely peaks. There's definitely min-max points. I think what we should do next time is actually build the speed last, put the speed last, fix everything else how we more or less want it, and then play with the plateaus uh, with the speed. That's interesting. I don't think we need a, a very fast dreadnought though. Okay. Well, we're getting uh, more of a monthly balance too, so that's helpful. Could put this away. Go back to go back to the task at hand, which is just moving forward in time. Ah, good. Take that, America. Don't want to fight you quite yet, though. I prefer Germany first. Germany first. The age-old. Uh, what was it the mantra of the United States? Germany first, then Japan. No, they did. Jap no, what? They, yeah, they did Germany first. Why that took me a second to confirm in my head, I don't know. Maybe I am just getting old. <laughs> Something everyone knows. Ha! <sighs> so I'm looking, and I think it's time to refit our fortune class with the the 
it's a relatively small amount of money we have available. I would love, I would love to rebuild this with better guns. You know, the cost is not that prohibitive, incredibly enough. So we either go with 10 4 inch guns per side, or we go with 7 5 inch guns per side. Or we replace the machinery, and this is where we have an insane build cost. Okay, it's almost, it actually does appear to be viable to actually put on the 5 inch guns. We'll just have to take it down. Let's see if we can get 16 out of it. at the cost of some rounds per gun, which is not good. Hmm. I think I'd rather put two, uh, 10 extra rounds per gun in our, in our turrets and rely on just only seven 5-inch guns. Is 7 5-inch guns better than 10 4-inch guns? I think so. I just feel like they the just pack so much more damage. Getting a hit is just so much more important. We can go director, we can go increased elevation, there's lots of things we can be improving here. So this is pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy about this change. Unfortunately, this ship will still suffer from the fact that it has no torpedo defense, but other than that, this is a very solid class. And I think that we'll be happy to have her... Um, uh, you know what? Maybe the ammunition is not... What's our range on these? 25,000. 25,000 is pretty good. I was going to say, we can't even shoot at range from the, with these, right? So we're probably going to close in and use the 5-inch guns more, but no, not really. This is mainly just for... Destroyer defense anyway. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with this. This is perfect because we can keep at range with the five inch guns Try to keep whatever range that is And From there uh, just with our director firing on the secondaries, especially just mow down whatever destroyers come in range Yeah, this is good. Let's leave this as is Okay, it's not gonna be too expensive. So I feel like this is a good decision Okay Four uh, months, very expensive for those four months, but then she's done and ready to go. So let's rebuild all of them. And even though Advanced Director will probably come out next month, I don't think she'll need it. She'll probably be okay without it. I already rebuilt you, I did. But apparently, uh, yeah, I don't need to upgrade because there's no guns, <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> okay. Then, the Glinder class, I. Waiting on one more. Yep, Jolly Roger. And then we can get uh, her upgrades going as well. And we really gotta start thinking about that endgame ship. Yep, just take it. HE shell damage, it's still good. Okay, well. Submarine count is at. 139, it's probably okay. When those finish, it's also gonna save us a little bit, and then we can start building the new class. Oh, perfect, that's actually really good. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> one month, one month. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna have to send those fortune class back in for another refit now. Upgrade their guns, darn it, that's annoying. But that's okay. I mean, if it's the only thing we have to do, it's a simple change. It's just knowing we're gonna have to do two fits. And I'm glad we didn't obviously, ah, you know what? We have to refit this guy then as well. Well, we might as well wait for director firing at this point. And you know what? I will bulge this one then. I will bulge the Renown. She'll be the, a lowly, bulged, very slow dreadnought somewhere. But it, it'll be fun to experiment with the bulging, see what kind of effect it has. I think it knocks off like a percentage amount of your speed usually two or three knots, so I'm guessing it's around maybe 10 to 15% of your speed. Or maybe it's temp ceiling 10%, so if it's 20, it's two, if it's 21, it's three, I don't know. 
there's an algorithm out there and I'm just guessing at it, but we'll, we'll have a better idea when I actually put it into practice, see, uh, see what we get out of bulging the uh, Renown. I still haven't done any of the retrofits on these. Uh, might as well do the Achilles. This is still, I think, a very good ship. And still, that's right. No six inch guns, darn it. Hmm. Germany. Yes. Absolutely. We can try to force our way into the into the agreement we want. The Comus class is just wait, you know what'd be interesting is if what if I made the Comus class um, a five inch gun ship? It's still pretty expensive to do this. I might consider even bulging this one because speed of 22 just means that she's going to be so slow she's not going to be relevant. But bulging means she'll at least be able to take a hit. Does it increase the cost? No, it doesn't. Yeah, we actually can do this. <laughs> Interesting. That's pretty low on the rounds per gun. But at the same time, we have improved director. We won't be needing to fire quite as often. Uh, we could maybe redo, remove some of the redundancy to, to get some points back. I don't think that's a good idea to do in general, but maybe here. Replacing machinery going to oil would save us quite a ton. Just I'm not a, I'm not a fan of doing that unless we're going to get quality 1 6 inch guns. So let's just hold off. Okay, these are being commissioned. That's good. Yeah, I would probably do another, li another uh, line of minesweepers, mine laying, I should say, um, submarines, just because we had the better reliability. And the fortune class is back, so let's just send her back under the knife. Wait for all of them to be finished first. Okay. Yeah, let's institute competition. Tuba, pff, it's kind of useless, but... There's Torpedo Protection 4, fantastic. Okay, so now let's roll back on Torpedo Protection, I mean on Damage Control, down to Medium. Improved Director, we want Advanced. I think we still want the Improved Quadruple Turrets, that would be nice. Uh, I don't even know if there's anything else we can gain from Ship Design. If I had a more, like this is just memorization, but I don't have it. I don't know what's the most advanced you can get. Uh, let's go to high on all these because this is going to be the most important for that little bit of extra saving, a little bit of extra armor, or ma or maintenance savings or whatever. Um, especially the machinery, that's the highest priority right now, I think, besides the actual improvement of guns. And that is a good point. Let's go down to low on this. Low, low. Keep this one at high, it's still worthwhile. That's fine. Hi. Yeah, you know, I'm actually going to go to medium on these. They're not as important as the machinery, I think. Okay. <laughs> we'll never know, but give me something better. I ah, shit. Submarines. I got to build submarines next turn. One of our cruisers has run aground. We'll demand this. This is higher tensions, prestige. Hmm. I don't really care about prestige. Do I want tensions to go up like this? It will increase our budget, so sure, why not? We got basically the desired effect. Germany and America both being upset. Uh huh. Okay, submarines before I forget. Let's get a whole bunch more of these. It takes 16 months to build. So these also take 16 months to build. No. Yeah, okay, these also take 16 months to build, so it is probably best to do the mine layers. And we're going to have a really effective time destroying whatever, whoever, with all these submarines, especially with an additional 20. That was 20 I just built. Yeah. Yeah, and that's going to be 81% reliability, which is amazing. So we'll do that again. One more. We'll leave it there. Okay, now it's probably time. I don't think we can wait any longer to do. I was hoping for advanced director. Should be around this time it happens too. It's probably gonna be one of those situations where again, we'll do this and then the moment it, we put her in, she'll come out, she'll need to come out. So this is only three months. This is actually 
I mean, it's expensive. Oh, no. Sorry. Three, eight. It's an eight-month thing. Darn it. That is expensive. Why don't we look at the difference, though? 25, 12, 12, 1, 35. Twenty five twelve one thirty five. So slightly better penetration. Longer range means better deck penetration, obviously. This one didn't exist in the last one. I think this first one was like twenty one and now it's up to twenty four. It's pretty good. I mean it's it's worth it. I think it's worth it. It's gonna enable us to actually be able to possibly kill uh, other enemy battle cruisers. So darn it if it aren't if it isn't frickin' expensive, but it's short term, eight months or whatever it is, and we have the budget to do it right now. So ah, okay, I have no problems fighting that thing. Oh yeah, dual turrets on. Okay, Turn gun mountings helped them, not us. Interesting. What the? Those don't look like 15-inch guns, and that is a weird, weird, weird configuration. This is the front of the ship, so they've decided to forego super firing. Four-inch deck. My God, that's that's a really thick deck. But turrets are only 11 inches. You could definitely get close and do damage to this thing. 29 knots. I'd I'd almost favor. I think I might even favor the fortune class against this thing, especially if we could just get it running towards us and we would just run directly away. We'd get our super firing 3-2, which is five guns against their one. So two 15 inch guns. They left some wiggle room to be uh, outsmarted there. Can we just saw this, I think. That is not important. Go ahead. What we're waiting for right now is six inch guns or advanced director. Oh, well, we can't really sit forever. We're probably just gonna have to, uh, you know what, advanced director is not important. We can build our dreadnought now. I don't know why I was holding off. We can build our dreadnought. Because we have to torpedo, we have torpedo protection four, which we'll use. And we can put advanced director on after whatever, like a small, oh, you know what? This almost should be the next battle cruiser because I'd probably want six inch guns on my dreadnought, but I'll take five inch guns on my battle cruisers. That's usually the way it's going. Yeah, 28, I feel like is still fine. Let's take this down to 11. Sixteen inch guns is good, that's what I want. Five inch guns on this. Let's get eight. Well, we did seven on the fortune. Okay, eight, yeah. Torpedo protection four just doesn't cost that much for the little bit of weight you end up spending. And we're almost at I mean this is really legitimately a forty five thousand ton ship because of the incredible amount of deck armor we're using which might even be too much for a battle cruiser which should be slightly less armored right now we can cut this down a fair bit seems like we hit a sweet spot ah yet one thing I have missed Saves us 100. Hey, 100 is 100, and it doesn't affect anything. Turret arc is still the same. So we'll go ahead and do this. Do I want anything to change? Because we can get more, we can shoot more shots. Now, with 28 knots and 110 rounds per gun, we can try to just shoot from a far distance and keep it, keep at distance with whoever. 
16 shells, I just don't need to land very many of those for this to be devastating. Wow, so this is a very, very strong ship. Is it, uh, is it the next class? Well, I think it's going to be. And the next, the next name for us is going to be the Ajax. Okay, well, let me think about this for one more moment before we confirm. This is probably too much. Turrets of 13 are gonna be sufficient. It's really the turret top which will be more exposed, I think. So let's do that. This saves us another thousand tons, which is good. Mm hmm. We don't need under submerged mounts because we can't. We're going to be going faster than those anyway. So we can clear those. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like right now, I'm there's. I want to increase the belt, but yet I also want to decrease the belt. I want to increase the deck. Yet I want to decrease the deck. <laughs> I want to increase the turrets, but yet I want to decrease the turrets. 13 inches I think is going to be okay though. I mean these are 16 inch guns so we don't want to lose one. It's going to, you know, it's definitely worth putting at least 13 inches on them. I don't want to decrease turret armor anymore. That's, yeah, that's, I think that's true. It's very easy to defend not decreasing it and it's probably even easy to defend putting it back up to like 13 and a half, 14 something. Yeah, how much, okay, how much did we actually save from this? We're at 152, one, 152.1, 152.1. So we saved 3 million. So it's 5.75 versus 5.63. It's a pretty small difference. Um, I mean, flash fires are a big thing, right, for the German Navy, but the thing is we had so many flash fires that there is a reduction in the chance of flash fires the more you've had previously. And we've had enough that I think that this is going to be okay. I'm also trying to consider the fact that this might have to fight close range just because of, Navy, like, whatever, for weather conditions or what, whatever, what have yous. I think I'm okay with it though. Short range mainly, that's torpedo defense. She'll hopefully be going too fast to need to launch torpedoes herself. We'll try to keep her with destroyers who will launch torpedoes instead. Her 16 inch guns are almost as powerful as destroyers, especially, I mean, as torpedoes, especially with everyone else having torpedo defense at this point in time. So I like it. I really like everything about this ship. I wish that the belt would go a little bit higher. I know we put, I mean, I'm. you could almost consider dropping it though. Yeah, we'd have to go up 500 tons for it just to go half an inch. Um, this is gonna be penetrated by all big ships at like any range anyway. And I've always shown this, but okay, this 16 inch guns are gonna penetrate from like any range because they're massive 16 inch guns. But let's just pretend for a moment that we are gonna be using like our quality 114 inch guns. These penetrate, uh, let's say even 11 inches of armor at 20,000. And at 20,000, you're probably more likely to hit the deck anyway. So it's, I'm not worried about this. It's, it's just, it's a number which prevents six inch guns from penetrating basically. This is just enough to keep light cruisers from penetrating at very close range. And it doesn't even really do that. Like if we're at, Okay, it does. Uh, that, that's really reassuring to me. I thought that the six inch guns would still penetrate closely, but okay, we'll take this back. I don't know why I would have this hundred here. Where do we get that hundred from? What do we do about this conning tower though? Eh, 13, that's fine. 
Yeah, I'm still, oh, that's the hunter we cleared up from the torpedoes, right. Yes, and if we go down to 10, say 300, and we'll probably drop, drop this down a little bit more. And we're down to 5.5, five. that's such a nice, we can drop it down even more. 40,100 tons. Darn, we obviously hit a plateau here. Cause this one jump up of 100 gets us over 100. <laughs> the jump from 40,000 to 40,100 actually gives us more weight remaining than the displacement increase. <laughs> so, there's obviously some magic. We increase our displacement by 100 tons and we free up more than 100 tons of weight. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense at all. Um, still, that's a place where we can just add like another round of guns. I mean, another rounds of ammunition, which is fine with me. And this is enough to get advanced director still. I don't think we need any higher conning tower. Yeah, we're short of it anyway. Okay, then this is it. This is going to be the Ajax. I've thought about it enough, and I think that it may not be optimal, and I, I'm still happy to hear other people's comments about why it, why it might not be optimal. But um, it's close enough. It's not going to be... There's no huge change we can make to the ship, which would make it infinitely better. Um, at least it's not apparent to me what that would be. So, so Ajax. What? No, we already have an Ajax? We do. I'm going to have to... I think I was supposed to... I don't know why I named... Oh, the Ajax is... I see, two different people named the Ajax. Okay, well, let's just cancel building this real fast. Ajax is now gonna be its own class, so we can get rid of this, make it, uh, how about this? Emperor Maximus has been given a new ship. Emperor Maximus. Okay, the Emperor Maximus, and now we can get our Ajax ship. First one's going to cost 8.67 million, but that's okay. All right, we're at negative 8 million. I'm not gonna mess around with things more, but we have the Ajax, and that means that we should get Advanced Director right now. Nope, no. The game's playing with me. Okay, that expired. These have finished their construction. Uh, superimposed beam out on light cruisers. This is going to be helpful, actually. 18-inch guns, that's fine. We don't actually need those. Well, we could use them on our dreadnoughts, but I think we, what we really want to do is start building more. Oh, and I want to get this accelerated. Is it still at three? No, it's already at two months. Darn it. Gotta wait. Should have done that immediately. Okay. Uh, this is the meddling of Germany. We're very close to war with them. Things are going according to plan. We're not going to have our new ship out, but that was to be expected. Are we ready for them? No, we got to get our... We don't. The thing is, we don't have a ship to fight. We only have a strategic dreadnought. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. All right, we can put improved dread... I don't even... This is kind of silly even to redo these guys because you know, they're just... They're not going to be used in combat. They shouldn't be. But we'll do it anyway. Seven and a half. I don't know why. That's such a low amount. <laughs> uh, oh, well. It's uh, too late to change it now. 14,000. That's These are incredibly, incredibly small. But they're going to pack a punch against any kind of second... Like, this is basically just a a fancy um, uh, armored cruiser. Very slow, fancy armored cruiser. Um, improved director, that's really all we needed besides the secondary guns, get director on those, yeah, is there anything else? I don't think so, this is going to be four months at, um, yeah, that's, okay, that's fine, let's get those, let's hopefully not go to war before these are all done. Okay, get those all out. Uh, what was it about the fortune class that we needed to fix? No, we've already refixed her twice, so she doesn't need a, a final fix. But you do need this. I see. And you're our only ship right now, so... Well, we'll wait, because we're a little bit negative on the budget. Tensions with Germany drop down again. 
And I actually think we're about time to call this video to a close. No. Prestige, yeah. Something I have not cared about at all, but... Um, let's suggest that they do that. I don't want to go to war with the U.S. yet. Okay. What the heck? Oh, so this is nice, but it's not... It's just a passive effect. Russia? What the hell is Russia getting involved for suddenly? don't want to go to war with Russia. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to put this uh, video to a close here. Call this video to a close here. So thanks for watching. In the next one, probably we're going to end up at war again. And it's just its a little unfortunate that we don't have any ships to fight. We haven't even refitted our Comus or Achilles class yet because we're still hoping for, blindly waiting for 6-inch guns, quality 1 6-inch guns. Um, the only thing that which will save us is this nice new Grenville class, but <laughs> come on, destroyers by themselves. They've, they've done miracles in the past, but we shouldn't expect that from them routinely. Yeah, kind of a tough situation. I can't believe I just... I don't have the budget. This is insane that we only have the budget. Like, look at Germany. Germany has a bigger budget than us. What the hell? They have... 15 dreadnoughts, 12 battle cruisers. This is insane. They have more dreadnoughts and battle cruisers than I have dreadnoughts, battle cruisers, uh, and battleships. By double. I have 16 and they have. Oh, I have 17. Okay, so it's not quite double, but they have 27. I have 17 and they have 27. It's nearly double my count. And their ships are, look at the tonnage, is just insane compared to me. Like, their, their tonnage is way more than mine. Hard to, to figure this out. They have a lot of destroyers. We did sink a lot of cost in the submarines, though. That is true. Hmm. So, yeah, we're going to have to rely on submarines winning the next war. That's for, <laughs> for sure. And then hopefully we'll have time to get out... Uh, a really good ship by the, the end game boss fight with the Americans. And it doesn't even look that way, but again, I'm still kind of thinking I might edit some tensions off camera just to make it so that Germany's a little higher, these are a little bit lower, whatever. Um, but that's going to call this video to a close. So thanks for watching, and until the next video, take care.